Do you want to make specific changes in your life, but you feel resistant? Or perhaps you've made the changes and in two weeks or so you go back to the same old habits or maybe even the same day. You just give up on the change. Well, this indicates just one of several really specific fears that we're going to clear out in this audio. This is Colleen Flanagan, The Emotions Whisperer, and I've made some tremendous changes in my life and with my clients, and we can do the same just by this audio. So sit back and uh, hopefully have something to write with. You can take some notes on this and listen to it as long as you want or whenever you want, whenever you feel the need for some strength (laughs) to make those changes. So the first A fear that you may have, which most of us have, is a fear of failure. We've tried to make change in the past. And uh, most of us, sorry to say, uh, went back to the same old way that was more comfortable. So that might be something that you have. You you feel like you're going to fail anyway, so what's the use? The second fear could be a fear of not feeling safe. And that fear is related to uh, deprivation uh, or fear of loss, which is deprivation. And uh, that Things will change and you won't feel good anymore about your life. The third fear is fear that the bad times will never end, and that's quite often linked to any time you've been on a diet. A lot of people have uh, fears that the bad times will never end or an exercise program where you hurt so much the next day you had all that lactic acid in your muscles causing the pain. Any time that pain is associated with change, then our subconscious mind has made that link that change equals pain and it's really difficult to break that link at times but you can do it via this audio then the third or the fourth uh, fear is fears of rejection and abandonment and that fear has to do with when you make change you're afraid that maybe the people you were hanging out with say you're going to stop drinking alcohol stop going to happy hour or something but you're going to miss all those people that you uh, used to hang out with Or maybe your family and friends have gotten together for some things that you don't want to do anymore and you're afraid of losing uh, their love and their friendship and their support. The last fear is fear that there's consequences to successfully making the change. And you probably think that's crazy, but it's really there in a lot of us as well because we've made changes in our life and then realized it was way more difficult than we thought or way more uh, taxing to our lives or We've all made changes that we really weren't happy with, but you can always change again. So let's do some clearing right now and just get rid of some of these uh, fears. And if any have come up that I've uh, talked about, please uh, write them down and clear them out. Uh, I'm just going to do a general clearing now. So what I'd like you to do is take whatever hand you have free, take your index finger or your thumb, whatever finger you like, put it under your nose above your upper lip. That is the end point of the governing vessel meridian. It's about the most powerful meridian in our energy system. And just by gently tapping or massaging under your nose above your upper lip, you will be able to break up all the, shall we say, trapped energy, the dark dense energies, the fear-based energies as you talk out loud or to yourself about what it is that uh, you feel is blocking your change, permanent change, healthy change, lasting change. It's what we all want. So go ahead and do that tapping or massaging and just listen along with me or fill in whatever you've discovered about yourself that may be blocking your change. I now release all my fears of failure to make this change permanent. From all the times in the past, I made changes and then I went back to my old behavior or whatever it is that I was trying to change. I forgive myself for failing in the past to make changes. And I now decide that since I'm clear on all these fears, change is going to be easy and effortless for me. I declare that and I decree it now, so be it. I also release any fears I have of not being safe making these changes. Because sometimes change is uncomfortable, especially when it involves something that's very comfortable and uh, perhaps a a form of stress relief for us, like uh, eating or drinking or any other habit. I let go of my fears that it's not safe for me to make these changes, that I won't have that stress relief that I need and that I crave so much. Maybe at the end of the day after work, I let go, let go, let go. I also release now all my fears that the bad times will never end. And this is from all the times I tried to make changes in the past, and it was so painful. Whether it be dieting or exercising or whatever it was, that it brought pain to me, and it just felt like a terrible, terrible time in my life. I let go of my fears that the bad times will never end making this change. Even perhaps that I have to give up something in my life that I really love to do. I let go of that right now. 
and know that I have this fabulous tool to use whenever I'm feeling a little resistance. And while we're talking about that, I now release all my resistance, anger, bitterness, guilt, hatred, resentment towards myself and others, shame and humiliation, any feelings that I've had, self-loathing, self-pity, self-disgust, all these fears that I can never be successful making these changes in the long term. I'm releasing all fears I have of being rejected and abandoned by loved ones. If I make this change and then I can't hang out with them anymore or they'll ridicule me or they're going to try me to get to go back to my old behavior, maybe trying to feed me or uh, have a cigarette with them or drink alcohol or drugs, whatever it is, I let go of all my fears and just choose to know that Anyone who rejects me for trying to make this change and this improvement in my life, well, were they really a friend or someone who loved me? Wouldn't they be supporting me instead of ridiculing me? So I release my fears of rejection and abandonment, especially from anything that happened in the past regarding me trying to make a change. And finally, I release all my fears that there's consequences to successfully making this change. Maybe I'm thinking that after I make this change, my life is going to be so boring how am I going to find stress relief? How am I going to find comfort? What if things really go bad in my life and I don't have this beautiful comfort that I'm trying to move away from in my life, whether it be eating or drinking or smoking or whatever it happens to be, laying on the couch and watching TV with a big tub of ice cream? I let go of those fears now and just choose to know that as I release all these fears about change and how it's been difficult in the past, but it's just been difficult in the past because I've been afraid of it. So as I clear out and allow these, these fears just to melt from my body, just to dissolve from my energy, I feel safe to make this change and to just accept now. I release all resistance to accepting that everything changes every moment in our bodies, in our lives, on earth. So resistance is futile against change. I might as well just accept it as it is. So be it. So take a nice deep breath in and out. And feel free to use this audio whenever you need it. And I want to thank you so much for listening today. I wish you tremendous success in all the changes you make. If you need any more support tools, please go to my website, which is emorescue.com, E-M-O-R-E-S-C-U-E.com. And this is Colleen Flanagan, the Emotions Whisperer, wishing you the most amazing, tremendous life. And always remember that life is responding to you and make it respond to you. Empower yourself, step into your power, live your life, love your life, and make all those changes that you want right now. You can do it. You got the power. Thank you.